Hi guys, today I would like to show you how to tie this fly with big wings, clumsy gangling legs and long detached body. It's a big dry fly with a funny name, Teddy Long Leg and I really like this fly for trout fishing mainly during the summer. So it's not that easy to tie this one but it's definitely worth it. So go for it and let's get started and see what's happen. So we start with it. Just a regular needle, you can put it in a vise directly, like this, and we are going to make our detached body first, it's going to be tied from uh, deer hair, so start with the thread, thread wraps, cover the needle, it's like two centimeters, not, you don't need too much and take the ear hairs don't go that thick just like this And okay, we are going to tie it in the opposite direction, so just secure it here. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, just a bit. Can, or you should tie this really nice and tight thread wraps. Okay, trim this thread. I'm going to add uh, a varnish, just this part is going to be our tip. So, to tip. Just a little bit here. I'm not going to varnish the whole body because when you varnish it, it's going to be easily broken by fish or just by fishing, just by catching the fly. So we're going with the thread back here and put this back. Okay, like this, and start with the thread one, two, three, go to next, one, two, three, you can do it tight as, as your thread can, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one more one two three and I I will use uh, the plastic straw a piece of plastic straw I don't know if you can see this which is cut it so you can put it on the thread See? And you go from here to here. And it's going to pull the fibers back. And so I can I don't need to very much. Okay. Now I could tie it here, make just some, something like that. Secure this. One, two, three, four is enough. Now, here I'm going to 
at uh, a varnish and also here just a bit now you can cut your thread trim the thread and you have to slide the body down from the needle I'm going to use this you can use just your fingers or scissors and so okay and this is pre our prepared Touch your hair body. You can, when you will do this for, let's say, some big, uh, big ephemeras, you can add to the tail here. But we don't need it in this case. So remove the needle and put a hook in the vise. I'm going to use Tiemco. 2499 SPBL in this case it's size 12 so as usual start the thread wraps I don't going to build the real body on on the shank so just cover this you can cover this more by thread wraps Take our body, detach body, and tie it to the hook. Okay, just like this, and you are going to make it tight as possible. I'm going. I'm using here the Dynamo thread, Dynamo 55 in golden color, which is really great thread. You can almost break it. Even it, it is it is really uh, thin. So secure this, cover this. No. What's next? Uh, now I will show you how to make uh, the knotting, uh, the the knotted pheasant tail legs. Take one fiber, make a loop, and make the knot here. Okay. We need eight of, eight of these. I prepared some before, so just one more for you. Take a loop. Go through. And here we go. Uh, so now we are going to tie our legs. Just take four of them and put it on one side. You don't need to really care about each and every leg. And take the other four, charge the opposite side. Okay. And this. Now we are going to. Add the wings from some grizzly heckle, rooster heckle, or some light tan heckle as you like it. Uh, I'm not going to make it really long and that big as it sometimes is, and I will just tie it along the body here. So 
So that's one. And the second one. Sometimes you can see people tying this like span to the side here. I usually just put it like this and, and I and it works great. So turn this secure. Now we are going to do our hacker. So I put the, the varnish here. can do enough put enough and now take some uh, natural fine dubbing I I going to use Hare dubbing um, and just a little bit on the thread and make uh, the base for for the hackers oh well, sorry First, tie the hackers, of course. And I'm going to tie one grizzly. And one brown. Okay. Uh, not yet the dubbing. Trim this. Secure it. Okay. And dubbing, dub, dubbing, uh, just a tiny tin body so the hacker will not slide and it will look better a bit. And secure this. Go for the Rex for the for the hacker. kind of effect it makes mixing two different colors of hackers secure this trim the these ends again I put the straw the thread and it's great thing for making head so scalp the head one two three four there we go just put some varnish on it finish so it wasn't that difficult it takes some time but it's really nice to fly and I really enjoy to fish it I, I caught on this a few of really nice brownies around two three pounds which is you know this is not New Zealand here so it's quite a big fish here So here it is, our daddy long leg, tie at least two, and good luck with this fly, bye.